I believe those who are using Palmo Vista for the first time should consider it as a companion. Initially, we used Palmo Vista on a large number of patients independent of the disease or of the situation of the lungs. This was done to acquire experience and know-how in the use of Pulmo Vista. At a later stage, which is where we are right now, we're applying Pulmo Vista to patients with very serious respiratory problems. On these patients, the use of Pulmo Vista gives us two main opportunities. Sicura. La prima è... The first is to set the tidal volumes in a more individualized way. This is probably more appropriate than what was done empirically, based on the NIH protocols and therefore on 6 milliliters per kilogram of ideal body weight. And in addition, Pulmo Vista allows us to use peak levels that we had never thought of using before. The visual possibilities of Pulmo Vista are fascinating. I'm saying this because we see now which regions of the lungs are more ventilated and which are less so. But especially, it lets us see the dynamics during the ventilation, whether the ventral areas are the first to be ventilated followed by the dorsal ones, or vice versa. It's very easy to use this new device. All you have to do is to connect the belt below the nipples line, start the measurement, and immediately you get the specific information. You get a view of what is going on in the lungs during ventilation. Before, without Pulmo Vista, we simply had to go by the saturation value or follow the X-ray. I feel a lot more independent in my work if I'm observing Pulmo Vista. If I realize, for example, that the right lung is being hyperventilated, I can focus with my therapeutic activities on exactly that lung region. There is no typical Pulmo Vista patient. There are patients that need constant functional monitoring of the lungs, and these are all the patients admitted to an intensive care unit being ventilated. So, the better the monitoring of the respiratory system, the better the outcome for the patient.